We bought 10 untested Android phones from Goodwill. And in this video, we'll open the box up, test them out, and see if they have any goodies left on them for us. Guys, welcome to another episode of Too Many Phones. All right, I got three bundles of goodies here. We got phones, uh, more phones with a lot of bubble wrap, and then these over here. I, I think these are tablets. I thought it was all phones, but hey, we got some surprises in here. Yeah, that, that's cool, that's cool. Let's get them all unwrapped and take a look at them. All right, I got everything laid out here. Sure enough, we have two Android tablets. Uh, four LG phones of some variety. I'm not, I'm not very familiar with LG phones, so we'll find out together what these are. Uh, there's two more LGs down here that are different from these four. We have a, a Galaxy S7 and a Note 2. <laughs> I haven't seen a Note 2 in a long time, so oh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to just grab one at random, plug it in, see if it works. Let's go. All right, let's start with this uh, absolutely mutilated Galaxy S7. <laughs> you can see the screen is completely destroyed, and there's also like this this gunk on top? I don't know what that is. So that's that's extra something. Um, the back is mostly fine. It's got one like big old crack. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Like right there, you can see right there. But other than that, not too bad. Let's see, what are the chances it has charge? Let's, let's find out. Zero, there's 0% there's, there's 0 chance it has charge. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, it looks like it's receiving the charge. So I think I'm gonna have to like leave it be for a little bit because I doubt it's gonna let me boot without having any, any power in the battery. All right, let's move on to the next phone. Let's go for one of these LG phones next. I, I have no idea what this is. I, I've seen this phone before. It, it was a thing, I don't know, 10 years ago, I feel like. <laughs> I'm vaguely familiar with it, but I just, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I believe this is the power button, so let's see if it has any charge. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> How, how is that possible? How recently was this thing used that it has power still? That's insane. Oh yeah, this thing has the worst viewing angles you've ever seen. That was a nice little tune. What the heck does this say? It's in Spanish. I can't, I cannot read that. Oh, I think it shut down. I think the battery is dead, but it had a charge. That's awesome. And it booted up. All right, let's get this guy plugged in, charged up a little bit and we'll, we'll circle back to it. Let me, let me just check all, <laughs> all of these uh, LGs. Cause I, I don't know. I'm just curious. Dude, they both, <laughs> they both vibrated. There's no way. Look at that. The both turned on. What the heck? These LG phones are invincible. I, I don't understand. How do they have power? They're probably going to do the same thing. They like boot up and then immediately shut down. But still, I'm, I'm impressed they have any charge at all. That's amazing. It looks like I'm getting the same the same screen here. It's just actually in English now. Um, I assume this is like some kind of service screen. Wait a minute. What is that battery level? Do you guys see that? Is that does that mean it's empty or does that mean it's full? I cannot tell. So I don't know. I guess I guess I'm just gonna explore these. I was not expecting that at all. Okay, I, I went through a bunch of garbage that it, it wanted me to go through and, and it looks like it's working now. That little startup screen has me a little worried that this phone's been factory reset. Let's just I don't know, pull up some, some contact. Yeah, smoke and silicon, that's the one I just made. So we have nothing on here. Oh, that's such a shame. Now, it's a little disconcerting to me, just for the, you know, the future of the rest of the phones, that this thing does seem to have a full charge. I mean, it's been on for a while and I don't see any problems so far. Just because, whoa, that was sick. Just because that kind of indicates to me that th these phones might have been factory reset. Uh, it has no data on it. It, it. All three of these LG phones walk me through some sort of like setup, you know, stage or something. So. Not what we really like to see here. We want to see people's personal data. How dare people reset their phones? In all likelihood though, the fact that it has a full charge kind of indicates more that Goodwill is the ones testing this, these phones or someone who had the phones right before Goodwill or whatever. And these are just phones they didn't want. I, I don't know the details. I just, you know, we like to see the goodies here on this channel. So that's a shame. All right, let's try this. Uh, let's keep the LG train going. I, I got these Cricket phones from LG. This one looks a little more modern. Like I could believe this is like a, I don't know, 2015, 2016 era phone. So let's just try to turn this guy on. It has power. Ah, see, that was exciting the first couple of times because it's like, oh, devices never have power. This is seeming more and more sketchy to me. Like Goodwill actually tested these phones. Man, oh, I just noticed this phone has a removable back. Yo, I haven't seen that in a while. Oh no, <laughs> that battery is ready to go. I am definitely not plugging that that this phone into power at all. That is super sketch. That I'm gonna dispose of as soon as possible. Oh man. Yeah, and once again, the phone seems completely factory reset. So no contacts, no no pictures, no no nothing. Oops, battery fell out. <laughs> Whatever. I wasn't gonna do anything with this anyway. But man, that battery is sketch. Guys, look at that. <laughs> that is what a bad battery looks like. Holy crap. I also just found out I can move remove the back on these other LG phones, and yeah, sure enough, the battery looks like it might be starting to expand, but it's mostly fine for now. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna check all the phones just to make sure we're not gonna start a fire in here or something. Oh man, it looks like all these Cricket LG phones might have some battery issues. This one's not as bad as the other one, but <laughs> it's not good either. 
All right, well, since she's uh, looking a little ready to burst, I bet she's got a full charge. So let's go ahead and try to turn it on. Yep, turns on immediately. Yeah, well, what do you know? Look at that factory reset. Absolutely nothing on this. Dang, man. All right, I'm excited for this one. <laughs> let's try out this uh, Galaxy Note 2. I, I never owned a Note 2. I had a, I think I had a Note 4. That was, that was the one I really liked. It, I just, I miss having the pen. I, you know, I know they still make the Note. They call it something different now. I, I haven't paid attention to the, the modern Android scene in a really long time now, but... I do miss the pen. Before we even turn the device on, let's go ahead and just check the battery. Actually, that looks pretty good. Man, I, I miss this layout too. Like, I just love that you could pop the back off and you immediately had access to the battery and, and then, you know, removing that, you had access to your SIM card and your micro SD card just right there, readily available. You had all these visible screws all along the outside that made disassembly super easy. This is like the gold standard to me of like what disassembling a phone should look like, but not there anymore, it seems. Wow, this one has a charge too. Man, I'm so disappointed. And yeah, sure enough, we booted it up and we're immediately getting to like a setup wizard thing. So I still kind of want to play around with this one a little bit though, just because it's, it's a Galaxy Note. Man, it's crazy how big this phone is. Like, especially for the time period, like this was an absolutely massive phone, but that was kind of the appeal. You know, here's my, my modern iPhone and, and like it's, it's very close in terms of size. So it's, it's funny how like, this is not a plus iPhone, by the way, it's just a normal, you know, the iPhone like 13 Pro or whatever, not the, not the Max or Plus or whatever they call it these days. It's amazing how a giant phone back then is basically the same as like a normal size phone now. And I love, as I said earlier, we got this pen, so cool. Oh, it like vibrated and did something when I pulled it out. Yo, let's go. Like, that's so cool. I just, <laughs> the pen feels like, shockingly good to use it's fun i don't know i i it makes me kind of want to go get a note right now instead of my iphone I, I miss it i miss it also i i, I kind of miss this layout too where you had the home screen like button like as a physical button on the bottom that had like your touch id stuff and you had the back button and the menu button like right here what did the menu button even do it just it just pops up a menu it doesn't pull up like your task manager or anything that's so funny all right next up we're moving into tablet land here uh, this is a next book, whatever that is. It has an Intel inside of some kind. Uh, <laughs> no idea. I know nothing about Android tablets. So let's go ahead and just hit the power button and see if this has charge on it. It doesn't seem to. So I'm going to actually plug this one in. That's a good sign. That's what we want to see, I think. I don't know. All right. Up next, we got this uh, TCL tablet. It says Scotia on the back. I don't know what that is. Is that like a is that like a sticker? Is that like an attachment? Is that the type of tablet it is? I, I have no clue what that is supposed to be, but it looks like we have a little thingy. Is that like for a SIM card or an SD card? That's kind of cool. I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just see if it turns on. It's already on? <laughs> Excuse me? How long was this thing on? Dude, this package arrived to us. I It, it literally arrived yesterday. So like, assuming like shipping time and how long the listing was up, usually Goodwill listings are up for like minimum five days. How long has this been sitting here? It still has 68% charge, 66 actually. So has this thing just been on the entire time? That's wild. Getting your tablet ready. It looks, it looks like we have one of these startup screens again that you know indicates the device is factory reset. Man, I'm gonna be so disappointed if every device here was factory reset. Yeah, this isn't gonna have anything on it, but I'm, I'm just curious to see what this home screen looks like. I, I know nothing about this device. Your tablet was reset to factory settings. To use this tablet, enter your previous pin. Excuse me? So whoever factory reset didn't even do it properly, so I can't even use the device. Hold on, let's see if I can guess the pin. Six and a half hours later. Too many incorrect attempts. Try again in 30 seconds. All right, screw this. This thing is now bricked. Cool. All right, now circling back to the, the Galaxy S7 here that didn't turn on earlier. Let's see if it actually is going to turn on. Oh, there we go. Okay, looks like it's charging. Oh, we, we have stuff on here. <laughs> That's cloud. That's Final Fantasy. Yo, activation incomplete. Okay, hold on. Let me, can I can I just get in here? Okay, we got a pin. If I can't get this pin, we're screwed. I, I have to know what's on this phone. Hold on. I'm, I, I got to try my, my absolute hardest with this. Three days later. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to have to give up. I've, I've tried many attempts at this point, and it, and it will not let me in. It says it's going to factory reset the phone anyway if I make too many more guesses here. So, unfortunately, the one phone that seems to actually have data on it, I can't, I can't even get into. That's such a shame. It does work, though, which is cool. All right, here's another one of these phones that wasn't turning on earlier. This one's actually taking a charge, so it looks like it's working fine now. This one's taking a while to turn on. I don't know if that's it. Oh, we have stuff! Oh my god! Look at that, we have like things on the home screen. UTV, what is that? U-Lotto. I have to open U-Lotto. What, what does that mean? What, so you buy like 
lotto tickets and you can use this app to scan them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I assume most of these aren't gonna work because I, I'm, I'm not connecting to the internet right now, but yeah, network problem, okay. It's interesting that all these were on their home screen, like whoever had this, like <laughs> these are the most important apps. They had, they had lottery tickets and checking your mileage for your Delta Sky miles or whatever. Let's check like the gallery. Do we got anything good on here? No files, oh, that's lame. Was this phone even used as a phone? Or is there like any contact or message info? Oh, okay, we got contacts. I'm gonna have to blur the whole screen, but there's a, there's a lot of contacts, okay. No messages. Okay, I think this phone had stuff on it, but whoever like gave it away or something did the right thing and they, they deleted all their personal info. So this is fun. I, this is my favorite kind of phone to get. There's not actually like real info on there you can do anything with, but it's, you can see some fun stuff they were doing or whatever. This is, this is great. Oh, okay, I actually found some stuff. Hold on. I opened Gmail and I have I have three emails here. Uh, I don't think I'm showing anything right now that's like too important or, or too revealing of any info. It's just some emails from 2019. I got this email here that says they paid a thousand bucks to the Hamptons, which is a hotel. You would imagine. I would. I, I hope so. Oh no, I'm definitely not showing this info on, on, on the video, but. I got like an order confirmation email that like, I, I, get, I got their full address, it's just there though. So never mind. they didn't do a good job wiping their personal info. Oh no. I don't, <laughs> I don't like what I'm seeing here about this, uh, this mod kill. They, they have like 20, there, there's like a 28 message chain with this, this company called Mod Pill that this person was talking to. They're talking about like buying some pills and stuff. And, and the first one I see is that the mod pills apologizing to, to the owner of this phone, basically saying like that they're out of tap and tadol. I don't know, which I looked at briefly. It's a fairly, it seems like it's a fairly addictive pain medication. So I, I hope this person's okay. I don't know. That's, that's so sad. I, I, this website seems kind of sketch. That's all I'm trying to say. Like it doesn't seem like a, a reputable, reputable pharmacy. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on here. All right. Most of the other stuff on here was just like, I don't know, like social media notifications, like uh, you, the person you follow posted on Twitter or whatever, you know, normal stuff, so. All right, well, I think I've basically found everything I possibly can find on this phone, so <laughs> nothing more to really discover there. We've got one last device here. We got this uh, Android tablet that wouldn't turn on earlier. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, it still doesn't want to seem to do anything, so I'm gonna let it charge for a while and we'll come back. All right, I'm back. I got good news and bad news about this tablet. It actually booted up, it's amazing. It took 20 years. I had to hold the power button for what felt like an eternity, but we're here, we made it, and it's factory reset, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and set it up as a, yeah, just in case there's anything left on there, but yeah, I don't think there's anything on here anyway. Let's just make sure it works at least. Does this thing actually hold a charge? Like this thing was charging, just so you know, for like two hours. So it, the fact that it's only at like, what is that? Like a third, a half battery full, I don't know. What happens if I unplug it? So this is at 48%. All right, I, I, I was scrolling around for a little bit. It seems to be holding a charge at 48% there. So um, it's the battery is not like complete poop. It's just like, for some reason didn't want to charge for a while, but all right, guys, that's a, that's a shame the tablets didn't have anything. I was honestly kind of, when I saw these in the box, I was looking forward to these ones the most, but oh well, was not meant to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun looking through these. I always love getting these untested devices from Goodwill because you, you just never know what you're going to find, but hopefully we'll get more untested, uh, unfactor reset stuff next time. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.